All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Sunday, January 7th slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard tray. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, at the moment, I am 0-0. We are recording before any of the games tipped off. Uh, my game tips off here in about five minutes, so we're going to get off here. I'm going to watch my game, but I gave out the New York Knicks minus 7.5 against the Washington Wizards. I have a lot of confidence in the Knicks here, guys. The Wizards, I don't know if this was uh, – over in Europe and they're playing soccer, they'd probably uh, be in the scare of relegation. They are not very good. I expect the Knicks to come out and dominate. That is a tough comparison for the Washington Wizards there from you. Uh, I've got the Houston Rockets. I took them at plus six and a half tonight against the Bucks. They haven't started yet, but they just got blown out on their home floor. They're playing at home again. I think they bounced back, so I love the play there. Trey, let's take a look at the plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to attack maybe the stinkiest game on the slate. Give me the Portland Trail Blazers going up against the Brooklyn Nets. And this is going to be an entertaining game to watch, though. Both teams, they have been playing some below-average basketball this season. The Trailblazers, they come in this game with a 9-25 and record. They're also 15-19 and ATS in Portland. They are 4-14 four and on the road this season. And the Nets, they come in this game with a 16-20 and record. They're also 19-16-1 ATS in Brooklyn. They're 10-8 and at home this season. And I expected a lot more out of this Brooklyn Nets team than what they've been doing this season. Uh, but I still do have a lot more faith in them at home than I do in this Portland Trailblazers team on the road. Given the Nets here in this game, I'm going to take them at minus 7.5. They were at minus 6.5 earlier, so it's gone up a point. I'm still not worried about it. I expect them to win this game by double digits. The Blazers, they're going to come this game banged up still. They're going to continue to be without DeAndre Ayton and Robert Williams in the paint. And that is not great news for their post defense. And without Ayton over their last two games, they got lit up by the Mavericks. The Blazers, they lost back-to-back -back games to the Dallas Mavericks by an average score of 133 to 100. So losing by an average of 33 points, that is not the momentum you want to come into against this Brooklyn Nets team. And in the Nets' last game, they beat the Thunder by nine points. So I believe that this Nets team wants to make a postseason push. They have all the players that want to make that postseason push. They don't want to have a tank year. So I think they're going to continue to string together wins. And it all starts with beating this mediocre, inferior Portland Trailblazers team. And this Blazers team, they score the second fewest points per game this season, and they allow the 12th most points per game this season. That is not a great combination. This Nets team is going to be able to control this game at home. So give me the Nets here, minus 7.5 now versus the Blazers. Yeah, try like that one there. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at the Clippers going on the road to take on the Lakers. This is technically a road game for the Clippers, but as everybody knows, the Clippers and the Lakers, they play in the same arena. So this is going to be a home game for them. Should have a fairly split crowd, most likely a little bit more Lakers fans than Clippers fans, <laughs> but, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take the Clippers here to win this game big, minus three on the small spread to dominate the Lakers. I made a mistake to fight fire with fire the other day with the Clippers and the Pelicans. The Clippers, they're just red hot right now. The Pelicans were red hot. Uh, many people can't stop the Clippers right now. They have gone on a massive winning streak, winning 14 of the last 16 games. And the Lakers' biggest headline over the last month or so, Trey, of basketball has been LeBron James trying to comb his head. Now, I'm not sure if you saw it or not. LeBron James was combing his hair in a post-game and, and post interview, and I have no idea if that's considered combing hair. Looks like a lot of scalp to me, but that's just one man's opinion. I've said it many times, so Trey, the Lakers are a horrible team this season. They're currently on a stretch of uh, two wins and nine losses, and they are just not interested in playing basketball. It feels like LeBron James' spark's gone. Anthony Davis, he's always been a walking piece of glass. Uh, glass. He only tries in big games. The Clippers, they have superstars everywhere who give effort most of the time. So I'm going to take the Clippers to win this game, minus three. Again, they're red hot, 14-2 and two over the last 16 games. Lakers, they're playing some awful basketball, 2-9 uh, and nine over the last 11. So give me the Clippers, minus three as the play. Trey, let's go to the player props. Sorry you had to hear all that. Yeah, gosh, my Lakers, i got to have faith in them. I... Minute, no. What's your take on the wrong thing? Did you? See? I'm sure you saw the video. Hey, I mean, as a guy that's probably going bald as well, you got to give it to a guy that's – just like me trying to hold on to any 
hair he has. It's not even like him coming. It was just like just the aggression that he was doing. It was like, I don't know. I think he was kind of like scared or something. I don't know. Yeah, that game was a stay away game for me. I wanted to bet on the Lakers, but they've not looked good. And uh, the Clippers, I can't bet on them against my Lakers. But I feel like that is the right side. So I love that play for you, Bear. But yesterday for me, I gave out Jason Tatum over 28 and a half points versus the Pacers. I have a lot of confidence in this play. Tatum, he's going to score 30 plus because that's what he does against the Pacers. So I'm going to watch the game and watch the ball go in the hoop a ton. Yeah, I've got Dante DiVincenzo to go over 1.5 made threes against the Wizards. A game, the game hasn't started yet. So, uh, I think he's going to go over 1.5 made threes against the Wizards. They can't stop anybody. But, Trey, let's take a look at the props for tomorrow. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with an under today. Give me Nikola Jokic to go under 47.5 PRAs versus the Pistons. I really love this under for the Joker in this game. He's been playing MVP-level basketball this season, though. He's averaging a massive 47.1 PRAs per game, which is right at this number. But I think he's going to struggle to rack up the stats here in this game, not because he's a bad player, just because of his matchup here versus the Pistons. I expect the Nuggets to blow out Detroit in this game, and that means Joker is not going to play his normal allotted minutes. And that is exactly what's happened the last five times the Pistons have traveled into Denver. Joker in those five games, he's only averaging 32 minutes per game, and he's turned that to an average of 26.2 points, 9.2 rebounds, and 7 assists per game. That's only 42.2 PRAs, which is under this number. And whenever Joker is in the game, I expect Jalen Duran to try his best play some feisty basketball, make it as hard on the defensive end as possible. But that's probably not going to be very effective. But Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon are going to carry the Nuggets here in this game offensively. The Pistons perimeter defense and wing defense is just no bueno. So give me Nikola Jokic to go under 47 and a half PRAs versus the Pistons. Yeah, Troy, I really like that play there for you. For my player prop today, I don't care if anybody gets mad. I don't care if I see any comments about this play. I'm going to take CJ McCollum again to go over his threes made. I'm not going to apologize for giving out winners. And all CJ McCollum has done for us this season is win bets for us. In his last game that I gave out CJ, it was against the Clippers. They got their asses kicked in the game, but CJ McCollum made four shots, and all four of them went from behind the arc. He has now made three plus three point shots in six consecutive games. And ever since they moved his lineup to 3.5, over 3.5 made threes, he's made four plus three point shots in five of five games. The Pelicans are going to be on the road against the Kings, and the Kings this season, they're almost as bad defensively as the Pacers. This is most likely going to be a high-scoring, fast-paced game in which C.J. McCollum has a lot of opportunities from deep. So I'm going to take the Golden Goose once again, over 3.5 made threes as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, like I said, it moved up a point. Now I am taking the Nets minus 7.5 against the Trailblazers. They're going to win this game by double digits. I'm not worried. Trailblazers, they're limping in this game with a ton of injuries and not really any motivation at all either. I was going with Nikola Jokic to go under 47 and a half PRAs versus the Pistons. Not doing this because he's a bad guy, but just doing this because the Nuggets are going to blow out the Pistons at home. So Joker, he's not going to play his normal minutes and he's not going to stack up those uh, stats like he normally does. Yep, and I'm going with the legal murder of the Lakers. Clippers minus three as the play. And then CJ McCollum again, over 3.5 made threes. I think I'm going to take it until he and until he doesn't get it. So it might be another CJ McCollum pick in a couple days. All right, guys, that's going to do it for NBA Plays and Props for Sunday, January 7th, Slated Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 